Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your sixth Grunt.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can uglify our JavaScript file. Alright, so currently in our build folder we have this scripts.js file which is a result of all of our JavaScript files concatenated together. So that makes this file pretty large and if we scroll right down you can see it's currently about 11,000 lines long. Now, Typically, when we deploy this to a website, what we want to do is compress this file so that it's all squashed up together so that when we request it from a server, it takes much less time to come back. So essentially what we're doing is uglifying the file. We're changing the variable names into something shorter, compressing all the white space, etc. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So let's click off here. And the first thing we want to do is install the plugin that we need to do this. So if you go to the... Um, grunt website right here and search for uglify then hopefully you're gonna see this contrib uglify click on that and it's gonna take you to the npm website and show you how to install this and it's this command right here npm install grunt contrib uglify then we're saving that to our dev dependencies so let's copy that dude and we'll just paste it right in here and click enter so then just wait for this to install Okay, cool. So when that's installed, let's just check our package.json to find out. Yep, there we go. Grunt Contrib Uglify. Cool. So now we can load this plugin in here. So I'm going to copy this dude again, paste it down below, and change this to Uglify. Okay. Now what we want to do is configure this. So we'll go up to the config right here. And this time, the job is going to be for the Uglify plugin and again I'm going to use this property name for our particular task which is going to compress this JavaScript file so build task and then this is going to be an object and again we need to do something similar to this so I'm just going to copy and paste down here and right here I'm going to change this to this file right here this is our source file so build forward slash scripts dot js and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to output the file in the same place. So essentially what I'm going to do is override the file. I'm going to look through it, compress it all, and then save over it with the compressed version. So let's save that. And let's go down here and say grunt. And what we want to do is run the uglify command. Press enter. And hopefully this is going to go out. Oh, no. That's because we spelled uglify, uglify. Okay. Grunt, uglify. And hopefully this time it's going to go out and compress that file. When it says done, then we're going to see this file update. Okay, so it says done. So let's have a look in this scripts file. And now you can see it's updated that, so it's all squashed together. And if you look at these variable names, they're all things like E, A, B, etc. So it's really minified that file into a lower file size. Cool. So there we go. That is how we uglify our JavaScript. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.